programmer by uh, by uh, by calling the macro in a program a macro can be something like a small program in a program and it is also called as the shorthand version of a uh, program and it also reduces the programmer uh, time in writing the uh, multiple time how when multiple time is required multiple time means suppose the same addition program is required for so called n uh, some four times but with a different uh, but with different parameters so that can be done using a one macro using one macro uh, function or one macro subroutine function in a program so that can be called four many times four number of times so i have told you in the previous class how a macro can be called and also i have told in the previous class what is a macro and macro actually the macro has got the three components that is macro definition macro call and macro expansion so it has got the three component and all the three component i have told you about its ex uh, its um, how does it executes and uh, how does it uh, calls the macro and how does it gets substituted that is nothing but the macro expansion so today till here i have told and also i have covered you about the types of the uh, para and the types of the parameters which are the macros. So i hope you all get to know what is macro and macro call macro in macro call is also nothing but macro invocation and uh, macro expansion is nothing but the macro substitution wherever it is necessary a programmer can substitute the macro and this is how we have the body of the macro that is this is called as the macro definition and the name of the macro can be given here and with the sequence of the uh, actual parameters and this is how the end of the macro and here is an example how a macro can be macro macro name and this is in this macro the three additions are being performed this is called what called as the model or the model body of a macro and it is also called as the macro definition and this is how a macro can be called and it is also said to be as the macro invocation in the another program i have told you about detail how a macro invocations uh, can be called for multiple uh, times in this example this is the macro and the name of the macro is wd and it was called for number of times and it was called for three number of Times. Today we shall study, but before that, I will show you how a macro has uh, how a macro uh, syllabus is given for you. A macro syllabus is given in this way, very simple way. First is macro definition and call that I have told in the previous class, and a macro expansion also we have finished. Next is macro that is nested macros, that is nested macros and design of a macro preprocessor that is the design overview so these two topics i shall cover up today that is a nested macro calls and uh, design of a macro preprocessor in that we shall see the overview design i hope you all have come to know what we are uh, i mean what we are learning in this class macros and macro processors macros are nothing but the shorthand version of a program and they can be replaced uh, they can be replaced or they can be substituted or it is also called as macro expansion macro expansion in a program and uh, that is called as macro expansion process or it is called as macro expansion processing and later uh, we have to study or we should know about what is nested macro calls and also the design overview actually from the design overview we come to know why the nested macro calls are required uh, if suppose there are the nested means function in a function nested macro calls are nothing but the function in a function a function calling another function means function in a function 
a function calling another function that is subroutine calling another subroutine a subroutine calling and the subroutine in a program so we shall study these three so uh, i mean uh, the macros and macro process i hope you all have come to know what is macro definition and call and macro expansion so once again i'll just show this is a macro definition this is the macro call or the macro invocation and this is the macro expansion by macro processor this is nothing but macro expansion why macro expansion here three times this is the body of the macro the body of the macro the model of the macro is nothing but the macro name which was called wd was called three times in three times in program and this is the source and how the program will expand so the program it expands This is very important for you to to briefly work on the macro, macro definition, macro definition, and the name of the macro is Judy. And the definition, the model, uh, model, macro model, and it was W was utilized in this source program three times. W D D and here the indicates the I think somebody entered in the class. Somebody in the class. I think left also. Please don't leave the class. As the strength was forty seven when I started the class, now it is forty five. All of you got the previous uh, syllabus, sorry, previous uh, chapters notes. So I will also post these chapter notes today because uh, uh, I may forget again. Now itself, I will post the previous chapter notes also. So you may uh, note it down. Second chapter. Notes on assemblers. Okay. So I am all the second chapter notes on assembler. So we should see later when it uploaded as formal group. So this was how a macro expansion, and you you are known even. So this is how once again I'm bringing you how is your syllabus, and in your practicals also there is a program implementation of macro. So that means here you need to design a macro, that the design of a macro. Is uh, pass one and pass two as of the assemblers, and here also we have in pass two, pass one and uh, in um, here also we have one more extra that is how uh, it takes for pass three. So here in eighth program, it is all about the macro. So in the next class, I will be talking about the uh, program on the macro. Now today, just see this syllabus. I am just briefing you macro definition. Call mentions. Macro call will be the today's class and the design. So this part also for the lab and the lab also can you can uh, see very well reality also how the macro pre-processing uh, design and how the macro program will get executed and uh, nested calls. Nested calls what these are in a macros. So uh, I was here telling you all about the syllabus that is. Uh, In the syllabus of one three point one and three point two, three point one and point two was covered in the previous class. So this is how in the previous class, which I have told you, in all in all, that is in a, a brief overview. Just look into this program. 
So this is how not program this slide. Um, this is a macro a definition, and the macro definition was called three times in the source program. And when it was called three times in the source program, this is also said to be as the macro invocation in other word. And how does it get expanded before getting uh, before getting called by the uh, compiler? Compiler takes now this which is all executed by the macro processor. Uh, I mean, the source program should be pre-processed by the micro processor, then it should be ready to go to the compiler. Now this program goes to the compiler. Now the compiler generates the assembly language program. That you all, after generating the assembly language program, it, uh, it goes to the assemblers, that is pass one and pass two, and generates the, generates the Object code. Here you need to know about now what is nested code. Before getting into the nested code, let me tell you all about the um, uh, assembler uh, sorry, uh, macro design. How is the macro design? The macro design, which I have taken from the textbook. Which I have taken from the textbook macro with the macro definition and calls that is the source program. And this source program, after uh, of, uh, I mean, it is ready, ready or it is pre processed by the macros. Now it is ready and given to the assemblers. Be before giving to the assemblers, here will be a compiler that compiler pre processed the macro source program and it will be processed by the compiler. And that compiler gives the low level language that is the assembly language, which is given to the assemblers. And the assemblers after pass one and pass two will be, uh, will, be uh, will generate the target program. And this target program is called as the is called as the uh, object program. This you all know very well. How is the uh, story of the macro? Uh, preprocessor, the macro preprocessor or the source program processed by the macro is given to the compiler and the compiler gives the assembly level language and the assem uh, assembly level language and the assembler will take that assembly level language uh, and processes into pass one and pass one pass one generates intermediate code, intermediate representation by the assembler and pass to generates the target program pass to generates the target program this is how so now today the macro how is the macro design before going to the you just see the here you just look into the syllabus get yourself confirmed get yourself confirmed i have told you about macro definition and call and macro expansion also now you have come to know now the nested calls before getting the nested calls, you should be known the glimpse of macro uh, design or macro preprocessor design or a design overview of a macro processor. The design overview of a macro processor is in this way. I was, after that, I'll be telling you about the nested macro. After that, I'll be telling you about the nested macro. I am just telling you here about the design overview. The design overview of a Somebody is there in the class? No. Again, 44 students are there. So this an overview of a macro you need to know. Later, I will tell you about the nested macro. This I have taken from the textbook itself. I have pasted here. We should know the one and all, the design overview. What does the following tasks are involved in the macro expansions? And there are the four steps procedures to assign uh, to be uh, given for the design specification of the each each task. So here, the there are the following tasks in the macro expansion. When the macro gets expansion, the macro get expansion. Just now we have seen after defining a macro, after defining a macro, a macro uh, definition. It is called. During the time of the calling of the macro, it just checks or recognizes the macro calls 
then based on the methods it gets substituted in a program that is pre-processing what is pre-processing uh, pre-processing is a process of the macros is a process of the macro processors so here the macro expansions has got the tasks the following tasks are involved in the macro expansion so it recognizes how many calls are there for uh, during the macro expansion and decide what values what values of the formal parameters should have in the expansion of the macro call what values means what values in the sense here during the time of the macro call here i'll take once again the same old picture this so that you will be understanding uh, each and every uh, steps involved in the macro design is the design of the macro so here the design macro what it says recognizes a macro but i mean uh, before we get into the design of a macro what the expansion does how the expansion is done so the following are the tasks which following there are six following tasks are involved in the macro expansion that is it recognizes how many macro calls are there now suppose in this program in this source program the macro calls are three calls and what are their macro names their macro names are nothing but wd wd is called for three times instead of writing a programmer the same macro the same macro after certain uh certain line of the source program the same macro instead of writing three times the macro has been called here the macro has been called so now this macro in this macro what how are the parameters are being passed suppose if this is of the add store a uh, store b so uh, store a and store b something is stored into the uh, memory Uh, into the register and something is take, uh, 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 stored into another register that is b a data data 2 is being stored and here in a, a data 1 is being stored so here it was i mean this definition was called for three number of times but here how the parameters would have been used how the parameters would have been used i may be using here the, the parameter something x something y and something z so using these three parameters a macro is been uh, a macro is been expand a macro is been expanded so here it means the same meaning recognizing a macro call deciding what values formal parameters should have in the expansion of the macro call then the third point of the task is maintaining of the expansion times expansion time variables during the expansion of the macro call it also maintains the values of the expander suppose i may be giving i may be giving in wd first wd i may be giving here it is been expanded by something like the x something parameter for the y and something like the parameter called as that so it should know What values we are giving? As in that three, five, six, three, five, six. So three, five, six respectively. That values are being expanded to the respective three macro invocations. Are other organizer expansion time and controller. This is all dependent on machine of macro process and timing are dependent on the machine current. finding the statement that defines a specific sequencing symbol means how the flow of the model and also performing the expansion of the model related to the sequence it, uh, it it finds the sequence how the program has to be ex executed now here wd is first second wd third wd and here based on the parameters of the formal parameters this uh, expanded source program will get executed expanded source program will get executed somebody is there somebody have joined now that is yes please don't be late to the class i may take attendance at any time 
last week i have taken in middle of the uh, first session itself only first hour okay please maintain your timing also always so that is how the uh, during the expansion time in the on the whole on the whole one uh, a programmer should be very careful about how a, uh, how he is giving the name of the macro and he should be very careful in passing the parameters in passing the parameters so uh, we know that there are the three types of parameters passing one is the uh, default parameter passing keyword parameter passing and positional parameter passing in positional parameter passing uh, the programmer should be very careful that uh, uh, suppose uh, this uh, w the first program requires x means it should uh, means it wanted x value means uh, the programmer should be very careful that he should and uh, means it should be given the x only if you pass for y means there will be the mismatching of the positional parameters there will be the mismatch means it will treat that y value is only required or what it will treat in that way and it will execute in that way only depending on the parameter what is the passed so why a programmer should be very careful whether he is passing uh, which type of the parameters in the expansion time what you will expand in one is asked to pass the parameters wherever uh, wherever in this program we are giving so next is and uh, next is nothing but uh, so on the whole we should very careful passing the expansion time for this this is the last part which is nothing but <coughs> the design of the macro processor the design of the macro processor it all depends on this expansion only it all depends on this expansion so it identifies identifies the information needed for performing the tasks each task so we are using in the design process there are the four steps procedure execution of these tasks so identify information needed for performing the tasks then design a suitable data structure for recording information determine the processing needed for obtaining and entering information <clears throat> then and the first thing we need to uh, perform the tasks by using the recorded information in c if you remember how uh, how is the design uh, design of assembler it was a design of assembler pass one and pass two in the pass one we we have in the pass one the program uh, in the pass one the assembler have been designed in such a way that uh, it it has been designed to uh, generate the intermediate code meanwhile it also designed the data structures so here also in the macro processor it designs certain data structures it designs for certain data structures now what those are the data structures the data structures something like this it designs for you may not be able to observe it and still i'll be uh, able to uh, i mean uh, tell you about this may, may not this slide may not be that much visible so macro processors algorithm and the data structures just compare uh, this macro processor with your assemblers as assemblers were of two pass assemblers as assemblers were of two pass assemblers so here also the macro is been designed for a two pass processor in which all the macro definitions and uh, definitions are processed during the first pass and all the macros invocation statements are expanded during the second pass so uh, this is how the design uh, structure of a uh, macro processor during this design structure there are the three main data structures are involved in pass one what are the three main uh, data structures involved in pass one in the sense one is the definition table that is the definition table which contains the macro prototype who are those macro prototypes and the statements that make up the macro body with a few modifications macro body with a few modifications 
and also it takes even the command lines also even it takes the command line in the macro definition next it will also i mean next it will also design for the data structure that is the names which are entered the word uh, names uh, i mean macro names which are entered in the program that is also uh, evalu evaluated in sense that is also identified and it is treated and it is not treated it is being passed into the some other table named as uh, i mean named as macro name table so uh, uh, how many tables now right now we have uh, encountered we have encountered right now two table one is the definition table and the another one is the macro name table in say for example in a mac uh, in a program i have some two three macros macro 1 macro 2 and macro 3 and these three macros are nothing but the name of the macros in macro 1 i may be doing addition in macro 2 may be doing subtraction in macro 3 i may be doing some other uh, task so these three macro names are been uh, are been passed are been uh, structured in the data structure saying as the uh, saying as the macro uh, macro name table so this macro name table will contain the name of the macros and there is also an, another table which is nothing but the expansion uh, which is also called as the macro invocation table so in this macro invocation table it stores only the argument table it stores only the argument table what are been uh, what are the uh, what are the arguments are used by the macro names what are the arguments used by the by the macro uh, by the body of the macro so say for example this is nothing but the uh, name uh, i mean macro names table list of macro name table and this is nothing but the definition table macro definition table the macro definition table stores only the definition what is been used in the uh, program somebody has been joined in the class going coming going coming again the strength is 47 only hmm? strength is 47 i hope are you there saloni aparna sneha madhura yes are you uh, seeing the screen yes ma'am yes screen is visible yes ma'am uh, yes ma'am Okay, okay, thank you. Please do acknowledge, you no, know, in between whenever I ask. So today I am telling you all about. Uh, so far I have told only you about macro definition, then uh, macro call and macro expansion. Now telling you about the macro design. Macro design also has got two passes: pass one and pass two. Pass one and pass two. First pass, what does it does means? First pass, it only takes. means it processes all the macro definitions in the first pass what does it processes it processes all the macro definitions how is the design structure of a uh, macro means like same as of the assemblers here also we have pass 1 and pass 2 pass 1 and pass 2 in pass 1 what does it does in pass 1 it processes all the macro definitions that are going to be processed this is a macro definition this is what a macro definition and in pass 2 it what what is it in second pass all the macro invocations will be expanded in pass 2 what does it happens all the macro invocations will be expanded and processed so these are the macro invocations will be expanded this is how the expanded this is how it gets expanded in pass one what does it does in first pass all the macros definition will be processed this is what the macro definition is be processed in the first pass and in the second pass in the second pass all the macro invocations who are the invocations wd 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 these are called the macro invocations three times 
so this macro invocations will be expanded will be expanded now this is the question only when there is only one macro wd is only one macro wd is only a only one macro so if suppose there are many more macros there are many more macros so at that time what the uh, some what the design structure does so during this period it goes with the nested macros it goes with the nested macros means nested macros how i have just again done the cut shot from my notes nested macro a macro first macro will be there. then this macro will have another macro this macro will have an another i will just expand nested macro means a macro is the now what is the name of my macro this is the what macro body of the macro is uh, more add what of the macro or model uh, model body of the macro is more something a register in that register what is being moved a formal parameter is being moved and again it is added by one this formal parameter is been added by one constant one so this is my definition or this is my mo model body of the macro this is the macro definition and this macro definition what is the name of this macro definition it is cl what is the name of the macro definition something like cl now this is my macro this is my macro now how it can be nested macro same like uh, calling a subroutine calling a another subroutine first one big subroutine is there in that big subroutine that subroutine again calls a subroutine like say for example function in a function uh, then now one can ask is that like recursive function or what a function calling again and again not like that that is the same function calling again and again but here what does it have then some a different macro is there that different macro calls something different macro calls something different macro using its macro using its macro now say for example i have here a macro i have here a macro my macro call this is call uh, i mean call for uh, the same macro how many times it has been invoked cal cal cl three times but using another parameters on the whole ampersand was one parameter but for this definition to be executed i am calling it by two three different parameters p1 p2 and p3 p1 p2 and p3 p1 is for same macro call same macro what is the name of my macro my name of my macro is call how many times i have invoked here three times but how i am invoking how i am passing the parameters with three different parameters so i am present one uh, p1 ampersand p2 and ampersand p3 and what this ampersand p1 something suppose say, say for example x y and z how i am deferring them i am deferring them by different values see here now during the expansion time this happens in pass two during the expansion time it happens in pass two in pass two what what does it happen in second pass all the macro invocations will be expanded and they are processed will be see this this is how it is it's getting expanded in call this is first macro the same first time macro second time macro third time macro but it is being expanded by different positional parameters by different parameters now what is the parameter i am passing here of course what is the definition of call the definition of call is more and add so more the register instead of saying as here parameter i'm passing here my actual parameter as x and this x was been added by 1 as of this definition as of this definition and in second call second time when i'm calling the macro in but again i'm calling by different value or by different position uh, different argument value but the definition will be executed same more add in or uh, in more in this register i am passing some other value called as y some other 
parameter called as y and this y is been added by same again the definition is executed same again the definition is here executed so this is what second invocation or second expansion this is what second invocation or second expansion this happens in pass 2 in pass 1 what does it happens in pass 1 all the macro definition will be processed all the macro definitions will be processed now how many are here the macro definitions well i am teaching here the nested macro this is my real first macro three times it is invocated here and call one are you observing here call one till here my first macro my first macro again nested macro how it can be the same macro one another macro i am taking here call one what is this call one it is taking parameters here one two three parameters it is taking one two three three parameters i am taking okay this three parameters during the invocation call times here during the invocation call time i am calling them by x y and z these three parameters x y and z but i am executing here only one time i am expanding here by only one time so here uh, to avoid the confusion you can also take here as x1 y1 and z1 because for this, already I have given the value as x, y, and z. For, uh, for my first macro, for my first macro, I have already. But this mac call one macro was being called only one time here in a source program. This is a full error program. It is called only one time. Call one is being called only one time. Now, the first macro which is running, the first macro which is running, call which is running sorry the first macro which is running as call one call one and in this call one again a other macro is being running who is that another macro that is call but call macro is executed or is been expanded for three times or is been invocated for three times or is been invocated for three times so this is how the expansion gets for three times whenever it is called whenever it is called now this call one this call one again it calls this full who is this full again again call one again call 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 so it is executing by through this parameters x y z x y the x go to person one y goes to person two and person p two z goes P3. This, these are actual parameters, these are our formal parameters. So, here this example shows that macro is being called in macro. Here it is a macro, macro call one is a macro. Again, it is calling another macro. Who is that another macro? Call, call, call. But uh, it is not calling for only one time, it is calling for three times. It is calling for three times. So this is how a nested macro. This is how a nested macro. Why this story came here? Because in time structure, in structure, it goes only for pass one and pass two. Because of this nested macro, because of this nested macro, what does it it does? It takes more than two passes. It takes more than two passes. Are you getting? It takes more than two passes. That is what here I have done. This slide. This slide. It takes more than two passes. So just uh, at the gills, go through this pass structure of the macro assembler. First, first it merges the functions of all the macro processors with the function conventional assembler. Then the functions can be structured into the passes of the macro assemblers. That's what I told in the first beginning before I could start the macro uh, structure. And uh, there are, as I told, the macro structure or the design structure of a macro is having two that is, pass one and pass two. But if there are the nested macros, it, the design structure of a macro will go for another pass that is, pass three. It will go for another pass structure that is, for 
pass 3 because it totally takes another pass if there is a nested macro. So it relates or it relates or it resembles with the assemblers as of assemblers. Assembl one can tell assemblers also have got one pass assembler, two pass assemblers. It is all the machine design and and also there are the assemblers who are of multiple passes who are of multiple passes. But if you remember, on 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 the whole, there, uh, there are two pass assemblers which are very convenient for for any uh, for any machine uh, machine dependent. That is pass one and pass two. Pass one generates assembler assemblers of pass one generates intermediate uh, intermediate code or intermediate representation and pass to the here also the same thing. The pass one takes all the macro definitions and to process the expansion. Is there any disturbance? Yes, dear students. Are you listening? Yes, is there any disturbance? Am I audible? Is your knowledge in between? Am I audible? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So in pass one, this is how again once again I have structured here. In pass one, macro definition processing and it constructs for a symbol table. And in past two, macro expansions are there that you have come to know now. In past two, what it is doing, it is uh, processing for the all the macro invocations, invocations that are uh, used in a program. They will be expanded and processed in past two. And uh, also, it maintains for memory allocation and uh, location counter processing. And this I will be telling how does it does for a location counter and processing in macros. Same old story again. Uh, uh, what we have seen in the after transfer of the macro, it goes for the processing of the location counter and also it goes for processing of the literals table, symbol table, and it goes for uh, the generation of intermediate code. And later it goes for the generation of the barcode. Here you should analyze. Uh, and we have seen uh, uh, assemblers in pass one. What does it was happening? Anybody? Where you should think pass one? Pass one is a is such a program, such a source program where it is it has to be pre-processed by macro processors. Then it should be ready for the compiler. Then it should be ready for the compiler. Compiler will take how compiler will take first. Uh, in our uh, in our high level level high in our uh, high level uh, or the source language compiler will take all the high level version of the source language then it will be given for uh, the or it will be processed by low level language it will be processed by low level language how does it processes for low level language compiler using the compiler phases lexical analysis syntax analysis, semantic analysis, and intermediate code generation. This goes for assembly language, no, sorry, assemblers. Assemblers now take whatever is being generated by parse tree, that is a semantic, up to semantic tree. Uh, that semantic uh, tree, which is nothing but the parse tree, that parse tree is now ready to go for, which is nothing but the zeros and one, which is nothing but the uh, low level language. Now it is ready to be fed by the assembler assembler will take uh, that uh, converted or generated uh, generated uh, generated parse tree which is nothing but the 
uh, which is nothing but the uh, lexical analysis. That lexical analysis has been now processed by the assemblers. So this much a deep story you should be analyzing. You should be very analyzing. So here you should not think only the source program is there. Here you should think along with the source program, that source program is being also being pre-processed by the macro processor. Now it has been given for the compiler. Now it has been given for the compiler. Before getting to the compiler also, before getting to the compiler also, it will be uh, it will be passed one, it will be passed pass, uh, or it will be processed by pass one by checking all the definitions of the macros, by checking all the definitions of the macros. So all the definitions, meanwhile, it will also construct the symbol table. Till here, it is for pass one. Now one can ask, ma'am, it is being processed to the compiler or not now? Yes, it is being processed to the compiler. Yes, it is being processed to the compiler. Now in pass two, what does it happen? You know very well that in pass two it takes the pass two what does it takes it takes the intermediate or it takes the intermediate representation and uses the symbol table literal table and also it uses the uh, mnemonic uh, sorry it uses the pool table using all these things it will start generating the object code that is nothing but the target code start generating the target code so here also you should analyze the same thing see it is taking all the intermediate codes whatever not all it will take it will take all the intermediate representation meanwhile it will it will also look into the literal table meanwhile it will also look into the literal pool table so with this and also with this one extra part it will also look into the macro expansion table and with this uh, meanwhile the location counter processing also happens so during the past two now during the past two it start generating the it start generating the uh, target code but this target code will not uh, finish off here only if there is a nest, uh, nest macro if there is a nested macro it will go for sec, uh, another pass that is the pass three if there is not a nested mac macro it will stop here only within pass one and pass two that is it uh, start generating the target code so this is how the pass one and pass two. I think it is a little bit tough to understand here, but still I should explain you some more examples so that you can analyze how is the here. The macro processor algorithms and the data structures here it takes how many tables here it will take three different tables that is nothing but first table is nothing but definition table and this definition table will be having all the definitions of the macros so macro name and also it will have the uh, number of positional parameters and also it will have the number of keyword parameters and also it will have the number of expansion time variables and also it will keep the information about the pointers and it will also keep the information about not only the pointers and even it will keep the information about the symbol table pointers also so but what these are all these table constructions i need to show how the table will get created here first to what type of source program it will be taking the source program it will be of the you, it will the source program not a simple source program the source program will be of pre uh, pre processed is pre processed by macro processor that type of source program will be there and that source program now it when it is fed for pass one it goes with several number of constructions what are the several number of data structure constructions macro definition table will be there actual parameter table will be there then keyword parameter uh, default table will be there then sequencing uh, sequencing symbol name table will be there then expansion time variable name table will be there and also there will be the parameter name table so these all are the tables 
there are so many different tables i think you need to note it down uh, in the past one what it how many tables it will be processed it will process nearly around nine tables nearly around nine tables it will process nearly around nine tables but those nine tables are been uh, structured into three uh, main data structure that is uh, definition table name table and the argument table definition structure table name table and argument table but in this it should be known that there is a macro name table macro name table and there is also a parameter name table there is also a expansion time variable name table and there is also a there is also a sequencing symbol name table there is also a, a keyword parameter ball table and there is also a macro definition table there is also a actual parameter table and there is also a expansion time variable table and sequencing symbol table so all these tables are being processed during the pass one means it starts constructing different tables what does they mean what does the macro name table mean again the macro name table it takes all the positional parameters keyword parameters and also the default parameters and what the parameter name table will take parameter name table will take only the parameters name will take only the parameters name like say for example here i have used in this i have used here parameter p so this parameter p is nothing but a name of the uh, is name of, uh, is uh, is the parameter which i am giving for this uh, macro which i am giving for this macro and this p further it takes into x y and z this p further it takes by formal parameters x y and z so such names are been stored such names are been stored during the time of the expansion time and during this period also you are having expansion time variable table so at this time expansion time variable table it will take x y z what it will take variable names during the expansion time x y z what is the parameter on the on and hold the parameter is nothing but p it will get stored but during the expansion time variable during the expansion time uh, it will uh, take a different names only that is x y and z that is called as expansion time variable name table and there is also a sequencing symbol uh, name table sequencing the symbol names sequencing the symbol names in the sense now this is only a macro if suppose dash dash i have here if suppose dash dash i have here so those dash dash indicates uh, top and bottom indicates the rest part of the program this is only a macro explanation the rest part of the source program that is for the sequencing the symbol name uh, sequencing the symbols that is what here in the uh, Pass also it is written here, and it comes during the pattern. It also construct the symbol table. It also construct the if suppose symbols are been observed in a source program, you should think macro is with source program with the rest remaining source program. You should think now this is only a macro, but this macro is a nested macro. Apart from this macro also, there is a another remaining. program that source program that source program will have the labels will have the literals will have the symbols so that is what here it is written processing of literals and also we will the processing of symbol table okay so those are nothing but sequencing symbol name table sequencing symbol name table will have all the Uh, key structure of the program how it is uh, so using this symbol only at the beginning in the pass one will not come to know what is their address and you know very well that when the addresses are generated during the pass two time the location counter or at the end of the program the they will come to know the address of the will come to know the address of the symbols 
that is also the, is there and the, there is also a processing of the location counter are you understanding yes neha aparna diksha yes are you all understanding aishwarya mukund sonali just i have begin the macro design structure macro design structure has got pass 1 and pass 2 also there will be a pass 3 so you should analyze the pass 1 as same of the assembler pass 2 as same of the assemblers but here macro expansions will be there and macro definitions will be there in pass 1 macro definition will be processed in pass 2 macro expansion will be processed in pass 3 if suppose there is a nested macro that will be processed nested macro will be processed in pass 3 that only i am telling and you should always think along with the macro there is a remaining code that is the source program now macro is also a source program along apart from the macro some other statements that is the imperative statements assembler directive statements that is uh, not only assembler directive statements so three class of the statements will be there so those statements also will be processed by the will be processed by the i mean pass one and pass two yes are you getting yes onkar ji madam samajh pa rahe ho yogesh okay लेकिन मैंने अभी एग्जाम्पल नहीं लिया मैंने अभी आपको ओवरव्यू दिखाया उसका पास वन पास टू कैसा होता है अभी नहीं दिखाया हाँ मतलब है, सुन रहा हूँ ऐसा बोलना चाहता मैंने पर्टिकुलरली बट इन बुक इट स्टॉप्स नॉट इन डीप इसलिए मैं बार बार आपको ये दिखा रही हूँ कॉल एंड इज ए macro processor design overview he has not taken any example okay getting and i hope you all have come to know how is the expansion goes how is the macro definition but a macro ka kaisa hota hai pass one aur kaisa hota hai pass two pass one kaisa hota hai pass two kaisa hota hai particular example lekar nahi diya but still i will come up with particular example as we have seen in assemblers as we have seen in assemblers today i have told you only a brief overview how does it goes for pass 3 it goes for pass 3 only because of nested calls of a macro now what is nested call of a macro nested call of a macro suppose there is a one macro that macro is calling another macro then suppose there is one macro that macro is calling another macro now who is that means my macro was now my now my macro is call one macro is a macro big macro and this call one macro having its own parameters here x y z because it, uh, formal parameters are ampersand 1 ampersand 2 and ampersand 3 and this macro was called by x y and z what i am doing in this macro still i have not defined okay but simply i am passing some values now this macro call one macro is again calling another macro who is that another macro cal 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 how many times it is calling cal three times of course it is said to be as macro invocation but who is this call this call is this call how is this definition something a parameter is moved in some register and to that one value is added to that one value is added so this is composed in the definition of call and this definition of call is invoked three times so this is how macro in a macro who is macro call one is a macro in this macro a call is called in this macro 
a call is called so this is the nested macro if suppose there is a nest, so if suppose there is a source program of nested macro means it will take pass 3 it will take for pass 3 if there is not a nested macro it goes only with pass 1 and pass 2 pass 1 what happens it processes for all the macro definition along with that it also constructs the symbol table why symbol table? Maybe one can tell now, ma'am, where we have seen the symbol table in your macro. This is only a part of a macro which I have told. But in your program, there will be rest of the code also, no? Remaining code, excluding the macro. So, a remaining code may be, may be label, symbols, something like that. So, all those will get executed. All those will get executed. How they will get executed? They have to be processed by pass one. So maybe there is a symbol. So that's what it is moved into the symbol table. Now in pass two, what happens? All the macro which was defined, now it starts getting, now it starts getting expanded. It starts getting expanded during the pass two. Along with this also, if there is, the remaining code, remaining code ka littles hai, agar se little pool hai, usa process karta hai. That is little pools and littles also. And it takes the help of the intermediate representation and go for generating the intermediate code. And you know very well that, just to recall, assembler, Pass 1 gives you intermediate representation. Pass 2 gives you intermediate code. So this is here also intermediate code is generated. But it stops only if there is a simple macro. But if there is a macro in a macro means it, pro it process further for uh, refining of that code and goes and generate the intermediate code or the target code. Object code will be generated. Okay. So, in pass 1, intermediate representation, but in pass 2 here, you are getting the intermediate code. Why? Because here we have a macro. That's what it's been get. So, one thing you should understand, in pass 1, symbol table construction and macro processing definition is there. And in pass 2, expansion of the macros goes, goes and also the inter now in pass 2, intermediate code generates and in pass 3 it generates the target in pass 3 but in assemblers kya hota tha agar assemblers mein uh, macros nahi hote the nahi hote hai to udhar kya hota tha directly that program used to generate the intermediate representation and meanwhile it gives you the different data structures that is symbol table literal table literal pool table ye sabhi generate karta hai meanwhile or pass to me kya hota hai? Pass to me sirf codes that is directly the in, uh, intermediate code that is nothing but the it only picks the codes of the instructions and uh, gen generates you the object code. Pass to generates the object code. But here pass one generates the macro processing is there. Symbol construction is there. Pass to expansion goes then intermediate code but in pass 3 there is a target code generation so this goes with the three passes this goes with the three passes during a period may bohat sare tables generate hote hai abhi mene jo pada hai bohat sare consequence it generates macro name table it generates separately uh, parameter table, symbol table बोले तो enough नहीं है, इधर बहुत सारे tables होते हैं, कौन से कौन से parameters के table बनते हैं, और macro names के ही table होते हैं, और macro expansion के ही table होते हैं, क्योंकि during expansion time it takes actual parameters, जैसे मैं p बोला ampersand p, ampersand p was replaced or passed by actual parameter that is x, y, z, three different times, like that. 
सो एक्सपेंशन टाइम पे कौन से वेरिएबल्स पास हो रहे हैं वो भी काउंट करता है काउंट करके वो भी टेबल में रहता है और क्या होते हैं की वर्ड्स पैरामीटर्स कौन से हैं और मैक्रो डेफिनेशन टेबल मैक्रो डेफिनेशन टेबल मींस हाउ मैक्रो इज डिफाइंड ये मैक्रो डिफाइंड ऐसे हुआ है ये मैक्रो का टेबल बनता है अलग से टेबल की इधर मैक्रो कॉल है और एक कॉलम ये दोनों जाके कहां बैठते हैं उसका एक सेपरेट टेबल रहता है मैक्रो टेबल में कर वो डेफिनेशन में जाके बनता है टेबल में जाके बनता है अपने बोलता है कि मैं हूं मैक्रो टेबल और उसमें ऐसे अरेंज करता है डेटा टेबल और फ्रेंड्स इस तरह से एक्चुअल मैक्रो टेबल में it only gives you the actual values then in a sequencing symbol table it only gives you the entries of the symbol table so in this way during this period but it is bit hard to analyze here what is happening here okay so i need to take one uh, example then we shall ex i shall explain you uh, i will explain you in the next uh, scenario where i take one big program here this big program what i have taken this i will expand this example this program and i will tell you about how it is taking the pass one and pass two so this example it is not visible here but so here i will be taking the example of the macro Uh, for generating the symbol table name table all those entries how does it processes and how does it processes for the definition and how does it processes uh, not only for definition uh, for all the uh, various tables okay so you give me your attendance meanwhile and meanwhile i will also post you the second you need notes uh, last class i forgot to post again uh, so i'll post you the second you need notes still it is in processing Yes, have you understood what is a macro? Can anybody tell? Yes, what is a macro? Yes, what is a macro? Should I have to display the slide? I have told many times our macro. You can also recall macro is nothing but a shorthand version of a program. And what is the uh, definition of a macro? Macro definition is nothing but a defining a macro. And what is a macro call? Macro call is nothing but a macro invocation. macro call is nothing but a macro invocation and uh, a macro is a uh, if i read it will become as reading macro is nothing but a unit of a small unit of a program where it can be expanded during the expansion time i mean during the macro call time and macro has got macro name and macro uh, parameters and its body of the macro and uh, macro expansion how does it takes macro expansion it takes using the macro invocations in the source program shall i take you the uh, i mean uh, the attendance so everything telling full one day pass one becomes overhead for you again uh, you may not understand it is bit tough to understand so let us uh, wind wind in the sense uh, first let me take the attendance here 
i think students are joining some more at the during the period of attendance time siddhi has siddhi is joining now yes one present one one present two three present ma'am three is there hi yes ma'am present Five, four present, ma'am. Five present, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, you told no. Okay, five. Yes, six, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present. Okay, please don't confuse. I'll repeat. One second. One second. Why you are repeating? Huh? One second. One present. One. Ah, uh, present. Three. Present, ma'am. Three. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Eleven present, ma'am. Twelve present, ma'am. Thirteen present, ma'am. Fourteen present, ma'am. Fifteen present, ma'am. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Ha. Okay. Okay. I am not running away. Hmm. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Present, ma'am. Twenty. Present, ma'am. Twenty-one present. Twenty-two present, ma'am. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-four present. Twenty-five present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven present, ma'am. Twenty-eight present, ma'am. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Yes, ma'am. Present. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two present, ma'am. Thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five, thirty-five. present forty two forty three present ma'am forty four forty five present ma'am forty 
प्रेजेंट मैम फोर्टी सेवन यस मैम फोर्टी एट प्रेजेंट मैम फोर्टी नाइन प्रेजेंट मैम फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वन प्रेजेंट फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर प्रेजेंट फिफ्टी फाइव प्रेजेंट फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट प्रेजेंट Fifty nine. Present. Fifty nine. Ha. Huh. Sixty. Sixty. Sixty one. Present, ma'am. Ha. Huh. Sixty two. Sixty three. Present, ma'am. Sixty four. Present, ma'am. Sixty four. Present, ma'am. Present. Oh. Okay. Sixty six. Sixty seven. Present. ओके एबसेंटीज लिस्ट आर टेन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव Forty two, forty four, fifty, fifty two, fifty three, fifty seven, fifty eight, sixty, sixty one, sixty two. Okay, ma'am. Roll number thirty. Is that okay? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Hello. Roll number thirty four. Ah yes. प्रशांत जालगिर हाँ ओके ओके ओवर इज देर एनी अदर टेन सेवनटीन थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फोर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी सेवन सिक्सटी सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी फोर दीज आर द एबजेंटिस ओके actually the third unit is also finished only but in book they have not told in brief about uh, assembly uh, sorry macro processors so one example i will be telling because you have for lab also uh, designing of ma uh, macro implementation so plus one plus two plus three should be implemented because these all comes in uh, during the design phase of a macro only so how is the design phase of a macro uh, that also gets over with the lab also and also for the theory part so that you can understand both parallelly so in the next class the design phase of the macro using one example for lab purpose also it will be helpful so i will be taking in the next class uh, using for lab purpose also it helps okay so that completes 
uh, with your uh, macros so before that i will post you the notes of the second chapter that is the assemblers here it is taking a little bit slow so i'll post in your uh, sp group okay in your sp group uh, the second chapter no notes will be posted thank you thank you all so after taking macro a last part that is pass one pass two pass three that finishes your uh, third unit uh, in a, i hope in next two hours it, it may finish so we shall see in that class next class thank you one and all Yes, ma'am. Eight thirty-five is present. I lost my. Yeah, ten. Which one? Eight thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I marked present. Thirty-five. Anybody? Ten, seventeen, thirty, thirty-one, forty-two, forty-four, fifty, fifty-two. Fifty-three, fifty-seven, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-four. These are the absentees. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. 